Good day all, welcome to HNT's YouTube channel. In this video, we shall simulate how to supply the steam for various heating services and how to change over the fuel for auxiliary boiler and for the generators and also the purifier operations. Next step is to open the steam to engine room for various heating purpose. Have normal service steam pressure. Okay, so normal service steam pressure is 7 bar. So we are going to use the steam for various heating services. So we open the main steam stop valve and trace the line to the engine room. Okay, so this was that line to the service steam. Over here we can see there is a reducer valve fitted. So from 16 bar I am going to reduce the pressure to 7 bar which is required for my heating service. Okay. So I drag it to 7 and click on apply ok and now the pressure will be dropped to 7 bar from 16 bar. Now we can start heating all the essentials. So my first aim would be to change over the fuel for the boiler. So the boiler related heaters I am going to change it over. So I'll be requiring for my settling tanks, service tanks, HFO settling tank, HFO service tank. Okay, bunker tanks. Okay. Okay. So now let us see with our objectives. Okay, this is also green. Next task is fill up the HFO settling tank through the HFO transfer pump and keep the HFO transfer pump on auto. Open steam to HFO tanks. Level should be about 30 meter. Okay. So we go for the fuel oil transfer system. We have got the oil in both tanks. So from any of the tanks, we have started the heating for this tank. So from this particular tank, we open the cube closing valve, line it up to the settling tank via the transfer pump and start the pump and keep it in auto. So we can see there are cut in and cut out points at 54 meter cube it will be cutting out and at 35 it will be cutting in. So this is how internally the fuels are transferred Okay, it has crossed 30 meter cube now. So let us check the objective. It is also green. The next step is change over the auxiliary boiler from diesel oil to heavy fuel oil. Have appropriate temperature of heavy oil for boiler. Temperature should be about 90 degrees Celsius. Okay, so we'll start the change over procedure for boiler fuel oil now. Fuel oil system boiler okay so this is HFO service tank we line up from the service tank through the pumps to the heater and we'll keep it in recirculation until the temperature is achieved above 90 so we start the pump and keep the secondary pump in standby okay now let's check what is the temperature setting it should be around 90 degrees celsius okay okay now you can see there is a yellow light over here it indicates that this pump is standby it's a gear pump which we are using over here now the temperature is 90 we can change over the fuel from diesel oil to HFO and close the recirculation valve. So the next time when the boiler is firing it will be on HFO I mean for the main burners. The pilot burner will be always with diesel oil. Now let us check the objective. Okay change over is done. Next one start number one fuel oil purifier from HFO settling tank to HFO service tank. Back pressure should be more than 
1.4 bar okay so let us go for the purifier fuel oil system fuel oil purifier number one so we have to set the line from settling tank to service tank via purifier so this is our settling tank steam heating is on from this valve closing valve I connected to my purifier feed pump there is no power for this pump now so we have to switch on the power and from the purifier feed pump the oil goes to the heater and from the heater it will be recirculating until the temperature is achieved so first let us switch on the power for the pumps and the purifier we go to MSB feeder 1 all the purifier related breakers we are going to switch on number one fuel oil purifier number one fuel oil purifier feed pump feeder two two fuel oil purifier number two fuel oil purifier feed pump and then 440 volts purifier exhaust fan is on yeah that's all so now come back to fuel oil purifier system start the pump and heat settings will be keeping it around 95 to 98 apply steam has to be provided and until and unless the temperature is above 90 the fuel will be recirculated through the settling tank and once the temperature is achieved it will go to the purifier and from the purifier it goes to the service tank okay now filling for the purifier operating water tank is open open these two valves the remaining operations will be controlled by solenoid valves now we will start the purifier once we started you can see the amperes is very high 80 amps so when the RPM is achieved to max you can see this amperes will be slowly reducing put the desludge mode into auto and these are the sliders for controlling the back pressure and throughput so let us wait until we get the normal indication light okay now we can see the amperes is slowly dropping better okay so now amperes is steady at 20 and we have got the normal light so now we start the feed where the operation really starts now initially the bowl will be cleaned and desludged after which the dirty oil will be introduced to the purifier okay so bowl is clean and desludged now you can see the dirty oil is coming so now keep an eye on the back pressure it has to be maintained within these ranges if you see that the pressure is increasing too much we have to open the valve back pressure valve little more 2.2 is fine we can keep it around 2.1 okay so back pressure we have set to 2.1 we can see the clean filtered oil is being sent to the service tank keep an eye on this to see if the level is increasing okay fine so let us check the objective now okay it is also green next one prepare HFO heating and change over diesel generator from diesel oil to heavy fuel oil line change DG1 on heavy fuel oil okay so now we have to change over the number one diesel generator to HFO so let us see number one DG it's running on diesel oil now from the pressures we can easily make it out so now we change it over to HFO so how do we do that from the service tank start lining up open the queue closing valve there is a three way valve over here ensure it is in HFO supply the fuel to your supply pump 
there is no power we will have to switch on the power before starting from the supply pump it goes through a flow meter and from the flow meter it goes to the circulating pump fuel oil circulating pump again there is no power we have to supply the power from there it goes to the heaters and from the heater it goes through the whisker tool and from the whisker tool through the auto back flush filter and from the back flush filter to DG1 we'll keep this bypass open so it will be recirculating until and unless the viscosity is achieved okay now let us switch on the breakers feeder 1 for the supply pump and for the circulating pump so fuel oil supply pump and circulating pump we need to locate number one main engine generator fuel oil supply pump number one main engine generator fuel oil circulating pump similarly there in the second panel second feeder we will be having for number two pumps okay we need the viscotherm it will be there in the 440 volt viscotherm on okay auto backwash filter fuel oil auto filter on okay done so now we come back to dg fuel oil system start the supply pump check the pressures it will be between 3 to 4 bar and then start the circulating pump where it will develop gradually to 8 bar and through the heaters start the steam heating visco term we can start we can use it in either visco mode or temperature mode the viscosity mode when you are using it should be around 13 to 15 CST okay back flush filter we can switch it on and wait until the temperature is above 120 and the viscosity is maintained around 13 to 15 CST the return line from the generator it will be passing through the mixing column and back in circulation now the line is complete do not open this direct line to the service time only recirculation through the mixing column after the flow meter okay the viscosity is around 14 now we can change over from diesel to hfo so first step we will open the outlet for the hfo close the outlet for diesel oil open the inlet for hfo and monitor the pressure when the pressure is above 6 bar we can slowly close the diesel oil so now we have changed over from diesel oil to hfo and close the bypass valve so you can see the pressure is around 7.1 bar now when we are using HFO as a fuel for generator so changing over is completed let us check the objective done 